today you're going to be taking a look at the components needed to flat tow your 2013 Fiat 500. There's five components you're going to need to safely and completely flat tow your Fiat. We'll need a base plate, tow bar wiring, a braking system, a tow bar, and finally safety cables. Our base plate is going to be the solid connection point that we hook our tow bar up to when we want to flat tow our Fiat. It's going to spread that towing force across the front of the vehicle so it puts less strain and stress on our front suspension. For our Fiat, we went with the Roadmaster crossbar style base plate for a few different reasons. One of the main reasons why we chose this one is because it is going to be a very straightforward install. We are going to have to remove the fascia, but it's going to bolt right up without having to drill any new holes into the vehicle. Another big reason we went with this one is because the arms here are removable. We can twist them and they'll come out and we'll have a really clean look on the front of our Fiat. And we can always remove the quick disconnect so we don't have the cable on the front whenever we're not towing. One thing to keep in mind is there are several different models of Fiat 500s, so you want to double check each trailer's fit guide and make sure you get the correct base plate. Our wiring is going to allow us to take the signal from our motorhome and transfer it to our Fiat so we're driving down the road everybody knows if we're changing lanes, braking, or anything else that's going on. With ours, we chose to use the Roadmaster High Power Diode Wiring Kit for a few different reasons. It's going to give us a four pole flat trailer connector at the front of our Fiat, and it comes with the umbilical to connect the front of our Fiat to the back of our motorhome. But also because this is going to be a universal kit, it's going to come with the four diodes, all the wires, and everything else we need to get it in place. But the way it's going to work is we're going to have a signal coming in from our factory taillight as well as from the wiring that we run, and then we'll have a single output that's going to go to our taillight housing. That way, whenever we're flat towing, our lights on our Fiat are going to match the lights on our motorhome. But when we're not driving, everything will work normally. Now, a big benefit to the diode style wiring is the fact that it's going to be a permanent install, and it's not going to change the outward appearance of our Fiat at all. It's all going to be hidden behind the taillights, and we're not going to have to set anything up every time we tow. Uh, a braking system is going to provide that braking action to your Fiat while you're towing it. That's going to help out your motorhome a lot because it's going to take that strain and stress off the brakes because of how much weight we're adding. On our Fiat, we installed the Stay and Play Duo because it's going to be a truly proportional braking system, which means that however our motorhome brakes, if we ease into a stop at a stoplight, this will apply light pressure at the same time. But then again, if we have a panic stop and slam on our brakes in our motorhome, our stay in play is going to apply the same amount of pressure to our Fiat. One thing to keep in mind about the Fiat is that the brake pedal is rather small. So some of the portable braking systems that have a clamp that goes around the brake pedal, they're not going to work. But a way our stay in play is going to work is we're going to have this actuator that's actually going to wrap around the arm of the brake pedal so we don't have to worry about the pedal itself. Another thing is our stay in play is going to be great for motorhomes that have hydraulic brakes on it. If you happen to have air brakes in your motorhome, there are options specifically made for motorhomes with air brakes. The tow bar is going to be the actual connection point between our base plate and the back of our motorhome. Now we chose to go with the Roadmaster Falcon All-Terrain for a few different reasons. One, it's going to be a motorhome mount tow bar, which means it's going to slide directly into the receiver tube. Not going to have to worry about a ball mount or any other kind of coupler style. It's just going to go straight in there. Another thing that's going to set our tow bar apart from others is the fact that it's going to be non-binding. So whenever we're towing and the arms extend out and they lock into position, we get where we're going. What happens is, is they get in a bind and it can be extremely difficult to unhook. Well, the non-binding design, we're just going to simply lift this lever and it'll unlock all that pressure and we can easily unhook the arm. Our tow bar is also going to come with the crossbar that bolts directly up to our base plate. So it's going to make it really easy and quick to disconnect and hook up. And a small feature that I really like about this tow bar is that if we look on the side of the arms here, we're going to have this channel so that way we can feed our electrical cables, safety cables, and anything else and keep it nice and neat and prevent them from dragging the ground. Now with the tow bar, you want to make sure that it is going to be compatible with the base plate that you have, but mainly that it's going to be able to support the weight of the vehicle. 
Our Falcon all-terrain is rated at 6,000 pounds, which is more than enough to flat tow the Fiat. Finally, we'll have our safety cables. These are going to be our last line of defense in case of an accidental disconnection. We went with the Roadmaster 68-inch cables, mainly because they're going to exceed the weight of our Fiat, they're going to be rated at 6,000 pounds, and they're coiled, so they'll be wrapped up, keeping all that excess slack off the ground. One last thing you may need, but it's not required, is going to be a high-low adapter. And that's going to take up the space between your hitch and the motorhome, and even it out so we have a nice level towing setup. And we hope this information has helped you whenever you're looking to flat tow your Fiat 500.